welcome back everybody so I finished my chicken shack last time we get a good look at the ship from here got my render distance down a little low so you can't see the rest of the island but boy you can't even see the towers so I was trying to get a little smoother uh, FPS Today I want to build a little building right here. It's actually going to be a laundromat. I figure you come off the ship, you come through customs, what are you going to need? You're going to need to wash your clothes. I guess you could use the laundry on board there, but I didn't actually see if I built any. So I'm thinking you don't have any laundry on board. You're just going to have to reuse your clothes or wash them in the sink. So for all the tourists who come traveling through town, a laundromat would be very helpful. We're at kind of an angle. Oh, I think that will work to my advantage. Because I was trying to get the layout of this. So like all this part here is going to be laundromat area. Because what I want to have is you come in and then you got your washers and your dryers. So I guess the washers would be on one side, the dryers would be on the other side. And then maybe some sinks and stuff in the middle. Because like if this is the wall right here. So this is wall, which means this is wall. There. And this would be the wall. that I'll have to cut out a door but this will give you an idea where the walls are so grass we're gonna have a door somewhere around here so this would be washer let's not do that like washers here. And I'll probably want two. And then this row here will be washers. Actually, let's put three. So if I put washers here, like that. Gives you plenty of space to put like uh, baskets and carts in between. So I have a row of washers, a row of washers. And over on this side, this will be a row of dryers. Like that. I've never built a laundromat before, so bear with me. And I've actually haven't used one for a while. Was it last year? My washer has not. My washer has been working, so I haven't needed to uh, use the laundromat. But I used to use them all the time. So this would be dryers. This would be a wall. This would be a wall. And then in here, this would be 
sinks and counters. So you know you got like folding. So it's gonna be a low wall, not really high. There's gonna be washers here. And I may even oh, I could put the sinks up against the washers backside, but I'm thinking maybe some sinks and then a counter here. It's so like maybe out of like this, like a folding counter, and then a couple sinks over on this side. So you come in here, you've got your, I'll have to put like a change machine here and there. Although I don't know how to make a change machine in Minecraft. Um, it's going to be make believe. Well, this whole thing's make believe. So, yes. I can make a change machine. I can just put whatever I want on the wall and say change and it'll work. So once I've got this area, so this is all washers and dryers through here. And this is where it comes to where I was mentioning at the very talking about the very beginning, this little jet out actually kind of serves me well. Because I can put maybe out to here. This would this area I can put an area over here for seating. Like this would all be seating through here. Because you got to sit and wait for your laundry to get done. So I can put benches all the way around there. And then we can have more seating over on this side. Because it's a little otter shape. But seating over here. Just a few benches up against the wall there. And then maybe in the middle right here. I need a place for the um, drop off. Where you would drop off your clothes to be washed. So maybe this area here. So this would be a drop-off area. So what we'd have, um, I don't have any in my inventory, but we'll finish out this thing with the blocks and then we'll have like a clothes press here, um, dry cleaning, have some more walls up here out of the way. So we'd have seating there, maybe some seating there, maybe, yeah, some seating over here, some seating over there, and then this whole wall back here is going to be where you can drop off your clothes for them to be washed or uh, dry cleaned or pressed or whatever. But I do need to get some more of the stone. I thought I got enough, but I obviously not. Uh, and then finish up the walls. Uh, the walls are just all going to be this uh, spruce. So like see if the door would be here. So like this would be the door. So then we would do the spruce walls and a lot of windows because I anticipate you're going to, laundromats usually have a lot of windows, except where the washer and dryer are, of course, but, because you don't want to be, like, stuck in a damp and smelly room with no windows in it. That just doesn't make it fun. Not that doing your laundry is that much fun. So something like that. So that's what I was meaning by the walls. Just spruce with the big windows. You come in here, have this little area through here, which will be 
some folding tables and some sinks. I think I will pop in some trap doors there because we're going to have washers and washers on either side and then dryers over on the other side. I think the roof is just going to be a simple kind of a flat roof. I'll make a big, maybe a stone edge and then flatten it all out with a spruce or maybe something light so it's not too closed in. And this area back here is all for dry cleaning and uh, having your stuff pressed and stuff. So got the two counters. The door will be right there going in. Um, I could probably even take that, yep, take that out. So give it a little extra space through here. So along this wall, I think like through here, I'm going to have, these are dryers. Because it's got like a little hole where you put your clothes in and dry them. And then here, these are all washers. And I probably actually probably don't need that many through here. I'm just going to put three there and three over there. I don't want it too crowded through here. So yes, yeah, so you fit through here. And then I need a pressing machine right here. Now I'm not sure. We're going to see about this. I'm not sure about this. I'm kind of winging it. And I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I think I need to drop it down. I need those blocks there. It's not so much the machine, it's the effect I want because I have some campfires. So what I want are when I turn on the press to uncover a block, which would have to be this one here. So there's gonna be pistons right there. Um, oops, and I need the sticky type of pistons. Yeah, I'm going to put some sticky pistons here, which will push blocks back and forth. So when I flick the switch, it'll go this way, it will actually uh, push out, you know, uncover a fire place, or so when I uh, so I get the campfire smoke coming through my table so that's the idea i'm going for uh, we're not sure i'm not quite sure how they implement it right now i'm just doing this off the top of my head well my knee let's grab this oh i didn't get any i guess smooth stone will work We have to lower this down a bit. And of course, I've got visitors. Go away. Go away, I said. Pick those two up. Oh no, I'm drowning. Ah, ah, I almost drowned. That, that would have been embarrassing. 
So let me gather up some more stone and stuff and make a little area over there and lay out my pistons. I need to find my sticky pistons. And then I can show you what I was going for. I'm hoping it'll be a decent effect, but I'm not quite sure. We'll see if it fails or if it doesn't fail. Well, I had to do a bit of rearranging in here, but I think I finally got the this laundry area working. So we have our, these are the washers. So you put all the stuff in the top and then the control panel. These are the dryers where you uh, put all your stuff in there and you push the button and it spins around. And this is the uh, hot press. So you put your clothing in there and it presses and steams it. Took a bit of monkeying around with my not so hot redstone skills, but I finally got it all working fine. I had to move it out of the middle of the room where I wanted it. But I think it works fine up against the wall. I can hide all the machinery back behind the wall there. No one's going to see it. And you don't even notice, really, that there's a missing area back there. I guess we just need to finish on, oh, I got the roof too, see? The roof is actually uh, just some half slabs and stairs all the way up. Where, oh, I can get on top here. Half slabs and stairs all the way up and around and then some black glass in there for a skylight. So I figured along this wall, probably starting there, of a bunch of washers and another bunch of washers and I th was thinking like this here these are kind of like laundry carts you know you got the little laundry push carts that you put your laundry in push it around just gonna just slightly tap them so they're askew so because I think it looks better that way so we have uh, washers with laundry carts and stuff uh, through here we have some sinks uh, do I have any I don't have any but maybe I've got some more of this quartz just going for a nice clean uh, counter. Oops. And I am going to have to. I wonder if this will work. Oh, that don't look too bad. And then I should be able to put the faucets. So we have like a hand washing or sink area through here, another counter through there. I do kind of like, I think I'm going to uh, do that on this side too. This out of here. Oops, I've got another one there. Just trying to see if I need any more light. I may need some light out this way. Maybe above the door? No. Maybe I'll get another one. I have one on either side of the door. Like that. Like I said, there'll be benches out through this way and around here. And then counting these as dryers. So we'll have a couple rows of dryers all the way through there. I may go get another few of these carts and put them in here because I kind of like the way that looks and then I've got some baskets and stuff that 
them sticking around. These are also laundry baskets. Maybe another one there. And one in the corner there. These are too close together. And I think I'll put a couple benches over on this end too. So you can sit over here and watch your uh, dry or laundry. And then let me put some through here. Oh, I did go with the doors. Dark oak. I think it... Overall, I think that is about how things are going to go. I still need to do some landscaping. That is, I have to stick that out just a little bit to get all my redstone in where I wanted it. So let me uh, put it in the benches and stuff, and we should uh, be able to wrap this puppy up. So I've given it a name. Oh, that's not right. Well, the name is supposed to be, not Suds Joe Duds. Suds. In. Boy. Suds in duds. Suds and duds. Laundromat. Put in some garishly orange benches. So this is where you sit and wait for your laundry. Added in a few more of the laundry carts through here. Got a couple shirts hanging on some hangers. A couple shirts and stuff in there I've added. Not much in there. Have our uh, sinks with the water, some more seats here, more seats over there, all our dryers. So that should take care of all of it. Just need a little bit of uh, outdoor landscaping. I'll have to bring in the landscapers, but overall I believe this is uh, complete. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and uh, have a wonderful day everybody. I'll see you later. Bye bye.